So the beauty of a Barack Obama second term re-election win is that it radicalizes Republicans. That means more and more Republicans are coming over to our side now. Come over, Republican. Come to the Libertarian Party. Yeah, come to the Freedom and Liberty Movement. See how the two-party paradigm doesn't do shit? You see how the historic two-party paradigm is really only one party now? It's either socialist or socialist. You're either getting on board with socialism or you're getting on board with socialism. And that is exactly why mainstream Republicans are only going to view this election as giving them no other viable alternative but to make a serious change and to really reform the party. So what does that mean? Well, that means more and more Republicans coming over to our side. That means more and more Republicans radicalized. Because you're a radical if you love freedom in this country. You're a radical if you love liberty. You're a radical. In fact, the CIA calls you a terrorist if you talk about the Constitution. It's like, shh, shh, don't talk about that. Don't talk about the Constitution. He might be a terrorist. That's right, America. If you love liberty, if you love your country, you're a small business out there. You're struggling to get by. You're struggling to make ends meet. Maybe you lost your job because of Obama yesterday. In fact, a lot of businesses I know fired hundreds of people yesterday because of Barack Hussein Obama. Yeah, he loves jobs. He loves the people. You know, the only people that really benefited from a win yesterday were the government employees. I have nothing against, really, people working for the government, but I do have something against it when you're taking from me, when you're taking from me, the little guy, when you're taking from all these good doctors that now are forced into Obamacare that are now becoming radicalized, you know, liberty lovers. I do have a problem with that. I have a problem with being pickpocketed. I have a problem being taxed. I have a problem when you take shit from me and give it to the other guy that didn't do shit to get it. I got a problem with that. And you know what? A good portion of middle America, lower and upper America, has a problem with that too. A lot to talk about today. Join us for the Go Live segment. I'm live right now. 10 to 11, 11 to 12 East Coast time. Click the link, go live. I want to hear your questions. Also, Benjamin Netanyahu put a statement out indirectly. You know who he is. He's the Prime Minister of Israel, baby. He's ready and gearing up for war because he doesn't like that darn Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. So he's going to war. But he put out, which is him, his voice speaking, he put out through a visor that Obama, during his second term, is going to blame He's going to play the blame game. He's going to blame Israel. More importantly, he's going to blame Benjamin, Bibby, King Bibby, Benny Boy, Benny Butt Boy for the breakdown in the peace talks in the Middle East. Sorry, Iran. Sorry, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Not only have we cut off all import exports, we're seeing this from major shipping companies right now. Not only have we done that, we've crippled your economy. We've toasted your real, the equivalent of the United States dollar, some 80% in hyperinflation. We are destroying your economy. We have implemented economic sanctions on par to what we saw with Japan before they bombed Honolulu. That's what we got coming to the United States of America. But I can't help but be a little bit excited, a little bit happy in a peculiar and albeit strange way. Got a little energy this morning, if you can tell. I'm excited. We also got a radio show, 3 to 5 p.m. Central, later today. Join us. But I'm excited because the outcome of this election only radicalizes more Republicans, brings more people on our side. You know, the crazies, as the Democrats like to call us. The crazies. Hey, if you believe in God, you're friggin' nuts. If you believe in a moral compass, you're insane. If you believe in just bootstrapping and starting businesses and you're kind of the old folk of America that actually built the friggin' country, you're insane. You know what these people will tell you? You know what some of these people would say out in NorCal and these other places? They'll tell you, you know what? You gotta evolve. You gotta evolve. I'm an atheist. I'm this. I'm that. Evolve? 
Well, you might be trying to get us to evolve, but see, that's the problem. Not everybody's evolving. A lot of us are regressing. We're regressing, and that's what happened to the Republicans right now. They're regressing. Getting a little bit more hardcore. It's getting a little bit more split. This is looking like civil war, isn't it, America? This is looking like something pretty hard. This is looking like something pretty divided. Very divisive. That's where we're headed. That's where the country's headed. War, divisiveness. War and more war. Death, violence. That will, that's what we have coming down the pipe because that is the agenda. What do you think the agenda is of the global oligarchs that run the real show? Power, control. It's the ultimate chess game. There are a hundred, 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 hundred thousand moves ahead of you. They can see what's ahead. You can. The sheeple, corralled, herded, and you're being led to the death camps. If you sheep, see what's coming. Which sheep are you? I'm Christopher Green. You've been watching Green Wave TV, alternative media television, and I just deliver the Daily Wave. Hard-hitting and in your face.